This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Now we've seen images and video of two things orbiting around Comet Ison. You may be interested to know that currently there are four satellites gathering very close data on Comet Ison. Two of them are seen currently in synchronous orbit around Ison. Let me show you U.S. Satellite Dawn. This is U.S. Satellite Dawn, as you can see. It is the perfect configuration of one of the satellites in synchronous orbit around Ison. Let me show you European Satellite Rosetta. European Satellite Rosetta is due to rendezvous early next year with another comet. The comet's name is churyumov gerasimenko early next year. One of the things that these two satellites will be doing is deploying an instrument package both on ISIN's body and in ISIN's debris trail. These instrument packages will give the team of experts CIOC Comet ISIN Observing Campaign which now assists ground-based and space-based facilities in obtaining the most scientifically useful data. There is a third satellite involved in this particular research project. It's NASA's satellite SWIFT. It's currently watching the two orbiting satellites and SWIFT's ultraviolet optical telescope UVOT enables Comet Ison's team of experts to make estimates of Ison's water and dust production and infer the size of its icy nucleus. We're told in Space Daily that an addition to this close-up satellite team is NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The MRO satellite is equipped with a powerful half-meter telescope named HiRISE that is more than capable of detecting the comet's atmosphere and tail. These observations have taken place August 20th and are slated to take place September 29th, October 1st, and 2nd. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.